But Jesus was teaching them something about who he really was. No, no, no. I'm not just a servant here. <laughs> no, I'm the creator here, buddy. I, I, I know where the fishes will bite. And if they ain't biting, I can make them bite. You got to hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. for joining us today. It's our continual prayer that something has blessed your heart or even changed your life as you listen. It's our vision to share the healing love of Jesus Christ with all who will hear. Would you consider helping us through partnering with us through your giving? Your gift of any amount will help share the gospel of Jesus Christ through this broadcast, Healing the Brokenhearted. And as a special thank you for your gift of $20 or more, we will send you a copy of The Healing Station. Please visit our website at ApostleLarryHearing.com or you can find us on social media. Thank you. You press your way in spite of how you feel. You keep pressing your way. And guess who's observing? God is observing. And so it just happened that this appointed, can I say this, at this appointed time, when Jesus came to the synagogue, it was this woman's appointed time of God that her whole life's condition was going to change. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe something's going to happen in this place today. And I want you to begin to expect something to happen. Don't, 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 now please, don't look at me. Because if, you, if you're expecting something from me, you can miss it. But if you shift your eyes to the Christ that is in the midst of us, something can happen for you like you've never had before. The second thing he said that we can learn, not only Jesus can fix our problems, but he said the one who holds you captive is subject to God. The one who holds you captive, that is the perpetrator, the devil, right? Is subject to God. Jesus says, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And he said, I give unto you power to trample on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. Satan is subject to God. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then he said, and these, he said, all power is given unto me. This is Jesus talking. In heaven and in earth. And he summons us and commissions us to go. And as we go, he tells us, and these signs will follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out demons. They shall speak with new tongues. Look at somebody say, I got that part. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. If they drink any deadly thing, if somebody tries to poison them, it will have no effect on them. 
Look at somebody and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank Glory Jesus. to God. Hallelujah. See, he's subject. He's subject. He, he goes about as a roaring lion trying to scare people half to death. But he's not the lion. He's not the lion. Jesus is a lion of the tribe of Judah. He breaks chains. He loosed the shackles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. All things. Listen to what the Bible says in Colossians. I want you to read what the Bible says. Well, let me read in John first what he says to establish or validate the point that I'm making. Was made, he was made by God. He wasn't made in the state that he presently is, but he was made by God. He was created by God. Now, John 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word, the same was in the beginning with God. I'm talking about Jesus now. He's the Word, right? All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Y'all see it? The devil is subject to God. He was made by God. God. God wants us not to put him in a class above our faith in what God can do. Are you with me now? Sometimes we tell, we, we, we are proclaiming the devil, the devil's work, the devil is this, the devil is this, the devil is that. And before you know it, he is just in laughing, being glorified. The devil is this, the devil is this, the devil is this. But God Almighty, he's the liar. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. And God says, this is what we can see. That the devil is subject to God. He was created by God, made by God. So the, the, the created thing can never match the creator. Amen. Anybody hear what I'm saying? The thing that's formed can never match the one that formed it. Hallelujah. So what God wants us to understand, don't give the devil more credit than he deserves. He's created. And the devil can't just hold you down any kind of way and all this stuff. Once we learn that he's subject to us through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And only what God will allow. Hallelujah. So now, And then as he was making this point, turn to Colossians 1, then he'll make this point, the same the point that we're making about that, it, that the one that's giving us problems was made by God. Not in that initial state, but he was made by God. So he's subject to him. The created thing was made by the creator. Colossians 1 says, verse 17, talking about Jesus, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist, all things hold together, by him, right? And verse 18, and he is the head of the body of the church. He's the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Uh, verse 16 says, for by him were all things, what? Created that are in heaven and that are on earth visible. And invisible, right? Whether there be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and for him. So you, God, what he wants us to know, don't be, don't be terrorized by the devil's foolishness. He's defeated. And you're on the winning side. God is going to cause us to walk in victory. Hallelujah. Do I hear any witnesses out there? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Then he brought to mind Hannah. You remember Hannah in the Bible? She couldn't have children, and Penana had was able to give Elkanah children. Back then, it was a bad stigma to be attached to a woman's life when she couldn't bear children. So she just teased and persecuted Hannah all the time because both of them, uh, uh, the Elkanah had two wives, Hannah and Penana, and uh, one could bear children, other could, but he loved Hannah. Hannah was his love. But since he had two wives, one of them, and sometimes when a, a, a man shows partiality in those, you know, even now, toward uh, one woman as opposed to another, in those days, it looked like God shut the womb up for some reason. I don't know, understand it. And uh, you remember Jacob and uh, uh, Rachel and Leah? Jacob had Leah and Rachel, but he loved Rachel and he didn't like Leah. And so God caused Leah to bear children. And he shut up Rachel's womb. But I, I don't know a detail about that. All I know is it happens that way. So the point that I want to make is when Hannah was so oppressed by Penana, just she just teasing it, just teasing it. Yeah, you can't have children. Da da da. You'll have one. Da da. You know, care them. And she was so oppressed. So one day she went. At this appointed time. And she got before God. And she cried. She sobbed. She cried out to God so much. And Eli was a priest at that time. And he looked at her. All he saw was crying. And And so he thought, oh Lord, here's another drunk woman. A woman of Billy, in other words, you woman of Satan, come on, what's, what's the problem, you know? So she said, no, 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 I, I, I'm not, I'm not a woman of Billy, or the devil. I'm just a woman with a sorrowful spirit. So when he saw then that this woman was interceding and crying out to God for help, he said, well, basically, whatever you're praying about, you go ahead. God's answer, he heard your prayer. And so God used the priest to speak on his behalf. She didn't say, yeah, man of God, you, you don't know. You, you just don't know. <laughs> you could easily say that, just like, you know. But he spoke and says, go your way. And the Lord grant you the petitions. That's all he said. But because he was the one appointed. Look at the one say appointed. God worked through him. And so she embraced it. As God has spoken to her condition. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When she embraced it as God speaking to her condition. She went away and the Bible says her face, her countenance was no more sad. She believed the word that God had spoken to her. So she went away. About a year's time when the year came around. Just like God said. God remembered her. He opened her womb. Nothing is impossible with God, right? This was her dilemma, and Satan was oppressing through this woman, but God dealt with it. He simply opened her womb, and then he did not only open her womb, but he gave her a man child as she prayed, and a prophet indeed, whose, whose life we talk about even now, centuries afterwards. So God honored that woman so much. Hallelujah. You can't pray to God out of a sincere heart constantly and God ignore your prayer. No, 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 no. Well, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. Hallelujah. So God is listening when you pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be encouraged, saints. Don't ever think that you're praying in vain. God hears. Then he brought not only Hannah to my, my attention, but he brought Peter and the draught of fishes. You know the story about how they toiled all night. Caught nothing. Just toiling and just weary. They got up there. got ready to just come on in early that morning. I'm sure they were sleepy. They'd been out all night. 
and they had all the wisdom that the men should have because they were truly fishers, fishermen. But in this occasion, so that God could show them his mighty power, obviously the fishes wouldn't bite, wouldn't even come near the net. And so now, puzzled and weary and distraught, they comes in and washing the nets and just going, I guess, you know, for fishermen, for that to happen, that, you know how fishermen do fishing today and they bring it in and uh, uh, to the places there where they sell fishes, they do it on a regular basis. But to come in uh, after being out there all night and catch absolutely nothing, it is very frustrating. And so here it was when they came in. And here comes Jesus. Somebody says Jesus. He says... Cast your net there on the right side, brother. He said, uh, no, he said, launch out in the deep, then let down your net. And I'm sure they said, no disrespect to you. <laughs> no disrespect to you, uh, man of God, prophet, I mean, uh, uh, Messiah. But we know what we're doing. <laughs> they ain't biting. Oh, you hear me? Yeah. They ain't biting. They, they, Peter could have said, nah, I, I ain't going back out there no more. I, look, <laughs> I'm tired. I, I, I've had it. I, I, we, this is an all night thing. And it's a strategy that we've been using where God's been keeping us in this fish's business. Jesus said, Launch out in the deep, throw your net on the right side. <laughs> but you're a carpenter. What do you know about fishing? Come on, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Jesus was teaching them something about who he really was. No, no, no. I'm not just a servant here. <laughs> no, I'm the creator, you buddy. I, I, I know where the fishes will bite. And if they ain't biting, I can make them bite. You got to hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. My God, you're talking Jesus, somebody. When Jesus... Speak to your situation. He done concluded everything about it. And he's assessed and says, this is the way it's going to be. I tell you what God told me. God said, son, he said, you're going to eat of the good of the land. I said, Lord Jesus, that sounds good to me. And when the situation looks like it's all contradictory, I got to remember the word of God. Hallelujah. Because he's watching over his word. To perform this word. In other words, that word is not going to fall to the ground. Because out of the mouth of God, he spoke it. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? When God speaks to your situation, take courage. Don't be discouraged. You say, that nah, ain't happening, Lord. I thought you said. I thought you. No, no, no. That's not. Don't talk like that. Begin to say, no, no, no. God said this. The one that assesses things totally right, he said it. I, I, I can't understand how he's going to do I don't need to understand. He don't, he don't need me to get into that ram. He just need me to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I lift my hands and I bless the Lord. Hallelujah for the good things that he's about to do. Hallelujah. He's faithful in all of his ways. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So no more word about how the devil is harassing anybody, right? Okay, we got the word from the Lord. God says, know this, that your perpetrator, the one who holds you captive, is a created thing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Boy, that ought to do something to somebody. Good God of mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you don't believe it, you kind of peek all the way back in the book of Revelation. See how it's going to turn out. <laughs> my God. My God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God. And then the third thing that he said. Before he before I conclude is he said 
that Jesus will break Satan's power from off of you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No matter what he's been doing, no matter how long he's been doing it, for this woman it was 18 years and there was a timing of the Lord. But when the timing of God came, he came right into the synagogue and after he was teaching, he looked at this woman, he saw her condition, and he called her to him. And then he gave her the word of her life. He said, woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And somebody here today, you're going to get loosed from your infirmity. Hallelujah. I believe that this is the real reason why God wanted this word to go forth. Somebody is going to be loosed from their infirmity. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says, and we, 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 we got to observe his nature, see, to, to, to understand. He, he's going to free you. He's going to free us, right? When I observe the nature of Jesus, I see he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Hallelujah. You hear what I'm saying? That's the way he operates. And John, 1 John says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. This was the work of the devil binding this woman. Now, notice, when Jesus came to her, he didn't say, Okay, you need to repent of this, and you need to, you need to do this, you need to get in the Word, you need, you know, you know. He didn't say that, did he? Now, this is very important. He looked at the woman's condition, and he said, Woman, thou art loosed from your infirmity. How many want to be loosed today from your infirmity? Come on, let's start praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus will break Satan's power from over you. Hallelujah. And then the, uh, uh, the, the fact that this woman was a woman was of the seed of Abraham. She was a woman of promise. Just like you and I are. Right? And when Jesus came, he came to his own, right? And the statement that healing is the children's bread. That's the children's bread. It ain't no great and fantastic thing that God work a miracle for you and I. It is the children's bread. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You have every right to expect to be healed by God. Is, is anybody expectation raising here in this place? God, it's like God is saying, I, I don't change. I, that's the way I was. That's the way I am now. That's the way I will ever be. I break chains. I loose wicked bands. And for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. My God, my God. Grieve no more about your condition. But start expecting God to do something differently. He said, Jesus will break his power from off of you. I believe God... That that's what God's going to do. And I, if, you, if you believe along with me, I want you to just start thanking the Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. He will, hallelujah, break every chain. He will destroy those demons of poverty. He will destroy, hallelujah, those demons that cause arthritis and inflammation. He will destroy those demonic powers, those spirits of inf infirmity that come and throw sickness on a person's body. He will destroy them because of Jesus Christ. He said he would, so we're going to give him some glory and give him some honor. Hallelujah. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being a God that cannot lie. Thank you for being our refuge and strength. Thank you, Lord God, for deliverance. Thank you for healing, Lord. Thank you, Master, for all that you've done. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're God that don't change. Hallelujah. You're reliable and trustworthy. We can expect you to be the same yesterday and today and forever. Because you're the Lord. Hallelujah. You're healer, Lord God. And healing is our portion. Healing is our portion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because of God. Hallelujah. He said, I'm come that you might have life. I'm come to make you whole. I'm come to set you free. Hallelujah. And who the Son sets free, he is free indeed. I wonder if you can stand with me. And let's just give him some crazy praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. He don't change. Glory to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for removing all doubts and unbelief and let faith arise in our soul. In the precious name of Jesus, we're giving you honor and we're giving you praise. Lord, do what you used to do. Do what no one can do but you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Giving you honor and giving you glory. Ah, God can fix my problems hallelujah and god can fix your problem hallelujah the created thing is not greater than the creator hallelujah glory to god thank you lord you'll break his power from off of your people